Hi everyone, welcome back to Lifestyle Love on Sugar Mama TV. So a while ago I made a video about which was like time and efficiency tips and I think I gave about five different tips as to how I run my day with two businesses, two dogs and a two and a half year old little boy called Rocco. And one of the tips that I gave was that I get up very very early in the morning around five o'clock and I wake up naturally around five and I thought I should make a video to show you how I managed to like lean into getting up at 5 a.m. Um, because I think it's been one of the most powerful things I've done for myself and all my girlfriends that, are, that do this or have tried this have really um, enjoyed the benefits. Now when you, um, for me personally when I wake up at 5 it's such a peaceful time of the day. Um, you feel like you've got the that you got so you get so much done because there's no distractions there's no one emailing you there's no one calling you there's no one texting you you know it's a very very um, tranquil time of the day and allows you to sort of stop and reflect and you know plan your day think about some goals for the day um, maybe do some meditation um, some exercise um, you know even for me sometimes I like to just when I wake up very early in the morning sometimes I just like to have a cuddle with these guys in bed um, uh, before Rocco wakes up um, or even when Rocco wakes up bring him into bed with me and have a, a nice cuddle with him it's a really um, beautiful time of the day and because you know I can get up sometimes and do some work um, and get some chores done I'm my day is so much more productive and because I feel more in control of that day um, I tend to have a much better attitude and headspace towards handling any sort of challenges that get thrown my way during the day and I, I just have a greater sense of I guess happiness and um, uh, calmness for the day. So I, I highly recommend trying um, you know waking up at 5 a.m. if you can and I have to warn you though there is one pretty big disadvantage that comes with waking up at 5 a.m. And that is when your body is into a, a routine of waking up naturally at 5 a.m. Sleeping in on the weekends um, can be uh, challenging. I mean, for me, I don't really get an opportunity to sleep in anyway. But when I try to, or when I get that rare opportunity, it's incredibly hard for me. So even days where I potentially can sleep in, my body just still naturally wakes up at 5 a.m., which can be um, a little bit frustrating at times. Um, Okay, so here is what, this is what I do, um, or how I leaned into waking up at 5am. So initially I set my clock 15 minutes early. Now, I think I used to wake up about 6 or 6.30 before I had Rocco, um, and before I started doing this, because um, uh, I have two dogs who love to go for morning walks. So I'd set my alarm clock for 15 minutes each day earlier, so i progress back from 6.30 all the way back to 6, and it took me about a week or two to, to get there. Um, the other thing I find really helps, um, particularly in winter when it's um, dark and cold, is I sleep with the curtains um, slightly open so that when the sun comes up, um, the natural sunlight can help me you know, wake up a lot more naturally. Um, the, another thing that I do, and this is particularly important for the days when I wake up at 5am and I want to make sure I go and do some exercise, um, is I will put my gym clothes right next to my bed um, so that even if I'm feeling really cold and toasty in bed and thinking up every excuse under the sun um, I you know it's really easy for me to get dressed so I'll put my sneakers and my gym gear right there so I can literally just reach over and grab it and get dressed and once I'm dressed I'm pretty much awake and ready to go um, Another thing that also helps, um, you know, motivate you to getting out of bed at 5 a.m. is having a list of the things that you want to do that morning. I can't tell you how, you'd be surprised how much stuff you'll get done um, if you wake up just an hour earlier or even two hours earlier. You're, you have this amazing um, level of focus and concentration and efficiency and um, it'd be, I'm always amazed as to how much I've got done before I've, you know, you know, woken Rocco up or, or had my morning coffee and it's a really great feeling. So having a list of just maybe three key things that you'd like to get done um, in waking up at 5am um, definitely will help, you know, motivate you and give you that ambition to, to roll out of bed. Um, the other thing is go to bed early, especially when you start doing this. I'm not going to lie, you're going to be exhausted. Um, and uh, especially in the afternoon as your body adjusts to waking up so early in the morning. Um, so as you lean into it, definitely try and consciously go to bed a little bit earlier so that you make up for that time that you lose in the morning where, where you'd probably sleep in a bit longer. 
And uh, my final um, tip is to get excited about the trying something new so you know this journey of try, you know waking up at 5 a.m. in the morning is something to be excited about it's something that's going to give you I guess I, I think personally more value and um, more time out of your day um, so you know get excited about trying something new it's like a, you know maybe a new um, fitness regime or a new um, health challenge you know get excited about it so that you, you actually want to do it and you, you get excited about the benefits that you're going to feel because I promise you, all my girlfriends have, have done this and tried this, um, really love and value, you know, getting up early and that saying, the early bird catches the first worm or something. Um, anyway, um, I hope this um, lifestyle love video um, is of interest to you. Let me know if you try this. I'd love to hear how, how you find getting up, um, you know, an hour early or two hours early or even half an hour earlier on what extra things you're able to, you know, to do in your day and, and how that makes you feel. Um, and also, if you have any other extra tips that you think might be valuable to other subscribers that, um, you know, would benefit them in learning how to get up earlier and make the most of the day, please feel free to put the comments and their feedback. And as always, if you have any lifestyle love video requests, um, please put them in the comments box below. We reply to everyone's, um, well, we try to reply to almost everybody's comments and feedback, and we love hearing from you. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the sugarmama.tv um, website um, so you can always keep up to date with what's going on. And you can also follow me for daily motivation and inspiration on my Instagram account, which is sugarmama.tv. So ciao for now, and I will see you in my next lifestyle love video next week. Ciao!